guys, Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing great out there. I've got a, a super fun rock and riff for you and some great licks there in the beginning. Some of my favorite, favorite stuff. Zoom in, break down the opening riff, the opening licks. Uh, oh, also I've got bonus blues licks and links to my Facebook and website down there. I appreciate that extra support. I really do. Thank you. Uh, but let's zoom in, break it down. Here we go. All right, so we got to tune our guitar down to E-flat tuning. Pretty much like all Hendrix songs are like that, and Guns N' Roses and a lot of other classic, classic rock stuff. So we're tuned down to E-flat. Now I'm just going to pretend we're in standard tuning with the way I describe things and the note names and everything. Okay, so it's basically, the, the song's basically in C-sharp minor, like a C-sharp C -sharp rock thing. And that C-sharp root is on the fourth fret of the A string. So to start that riff, we're going to play a power chord right there. So it's going to be 4th fret, 6th fret, and then 6th fret on the G. And we start with that. I'm muting the low E string with the tip of my index, and I'm muting the B and the high E by not pressing down. I'm not doing a bar chord there. I'm just hitting that note and then letting my finger rest as a mute across the frets. So you're not hearing, you're hearing just the three notes. Staccato, meaning we don't let it ring out. We don't do that, we do. And if I relax my left hand, it immediately cuts the chord off. So as soon as I relaxed is when you heard that. See that? So we start with a staccato hit there, then the open E, which is fun, then the second fret, then the fourth fret, then the second fret on the A string, then we move that up to the fourth fret, but we're going to do it with our index and play that power chord again. So watch this. Real slow. We hit that staccato a second time. Just like that. Check it out again. And a whole step down. So that's the second fret, and we're going to hit that chord once. Let's do it from the top. We're going to go back up, and we're going to do a down up, TT, like that. Check it out. Now the intro licks, which I love, there's some really cool licks here. Classic, classic. 
And so we're in the C sharp minor pentatonic scale, our favorite scale, pretty much. So it's the extension of it. But so check out the scale. You know, we'd have the root right here on the ninth fret of the E string, lower high. And then we have the extension, which is basically 14 on the high E, 12 on the high E. 14, 12 on the B, but then right here, it shifts as our little extension scale. And we want to check this out because it's going to be part of the licks. It's the uh, 13, 12, 11 is the little blues run in C sharp minor. Then right down to nine and you're in your pentatonic. So it starts with this big bend on the 14th of the high E. So just some nice bends in this little rock star box right here. Um, we're starting with a whole step bend up on the 14th and letting it slowly uh, glissando, I think is what it's called. We're letting it slowly come back down. So you got... You know, you're letting it come down. And then 12 on the high E to 14 on the B. Vibrato. 12 on the high E with a little nudge. Okay. Then a whole step bend released to the 12 of the high E. See that? We're not hearing it come back down. We're bending up and then releasing to the 12 of the high E. And then we do it again, but then we go, and I'm doing a down pick on the 12 of the high E to an up pick on the 14 of the B. So you can do it real fast. Here it is again. Now we need this really cool, one of my favorite licks. And it's right in the blues scale, but with a really cool Hendrix signature bend technique, okay? So we're gonna Check this out. We're going to bend the 12th fret of the B string up a whole step. And we're going to hear it go up even. We're bending that up to the 14th pitch. But when we do that, we're going to catch the G string with our ring finger. We're not playing that note, but we're catching the bend up because as I, when I do my second pick, we're gonna roll over and pick the G string. Look at my pick, look what I'm picking. So that's a whole step bend up. And then right at, as the G string is a half step bent up, Around that pitch is when you're going to pick that note. So even on the bend up, I'm already bending the G string there, even though I'm picking the B string. I let it come down natural. Then I'm going to hit my ring, uh, sorry, my middle finger to the 11th fret. So we're bending that up, then we got that bend down on the 12 of the G, then 11 of that G, then we're right in the blue scale when we go to the 9 of that G and carry down the scale. Then 11, 9, 
11, 10, 9, 11, like that, okay? Check it out. time on that lick. Got the 14 high E. Glissando. All right, there it was. Hope uh, you got something from it. Thanks a lot for hanging out. Got those extra bonuses down there. Uh, that's it. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, supper, dinner, dinner, lunch, brunch.